Hello everybody, my name is Gareth, aka The Irish Pixel. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about why I love my drone. I am by no means the best photographer in the world, nor am I trying to be the best photographer in the world because that will only lead to epic failure. I do my thing because I enjoy doing my thing. It's as simple as that. I'm fortunate enough to have won some competitions. I've won some with Nikon, I've won some with Calumet, and if I find them, I will post the images somewhere in this space. Don't get me wrong, I love my digital SLR. I've got a Nikon D850, which I, I think it's superb. I've got fantastic lenses. I've got a really good setup with my lights and flashes. I've invested so much in this system, it's very hard to come away from that. So where does a drone fit in all of that? So I'm gonna give you the three reasons why I love drone photography over digital SLR photography. Now before I tell you, I must say that all this gear I have, I bought myself. This is my hard earned cash that I've invested in something that I love doing. So let's jump right into it. Number one, you can get from A to B very fast. Now I live in the countryside and I'm very fortunate that on my doorstep, I have lots of open land. So I have numerous trees, which I really like. But in the summertime, some of them are incredibly hard to get to because the crops have grown and I don't wanna start walking across crops. Also, some of the points that I'm really interested in are maybe half a mile apart. If you're trying to walk from one point to the other point and you've got a really nice sky and you're kind of in a rush, normally what would happen is if you have a digital SLR, you would go to one point one day and the next point the next day. With the drone, however, you can go to one point, take your picture, know your composition, get to the other point and get both photos. I mean, it's literally incredible. It takes everything to a completely new level. I mean, being able to go from A to B really fast, get two images instead of one, it's massive. Number two, the obvious thing, a new perspective. Yes, you can go really high with drones, but there's something about just changing angles slightly, maybe just going higher than a tree if you're photographing a tree or a landscape where you look down, you see the contours, the sun hitting it from a different angle, things that you just couldn't do with a digital SLR, places you can't reach. You can reach wherever you want to reach. I mean, it's insane. Some of the photographs I've done, I would never have been able to get to. And these are some of the most popular ones that I have on my Twitter feed. They're not the best quality, I get that, but there's something about the image that really catches the eye. Perspective is such a unique thing, it's how we all see it. If I go and take a picture of a famous landmark, we're probably all gonna to go to the same place and take it from the same angle. With a drone, you can literally go anywhere and take that picture from any direction, catching the light how you wanna catch the light. And lastly, number three, it's one system. Now, one system is really important. As I said at the start of the video, I have put all my cash into my photography because I love it. It's something I enjoy doing. It's my passion where I'll just go out and spend hours doing photographs and then I love processing them and then I love sharing them. That's my thing. But having one system is phenomenal for the price. So I think a Mavic Pro 2 retails about 12, 1300 pounds. My digital SLR, I've got a Nikon D850. Now I have a 24 to 70 mil lens. I have a 70 to 200 the lens. I've got the flashes. I've got the batteries. It literally adds up eight, nine, 10,000 pounds easily. Now the issue with my digital SLR, don't get me wrong, I love it, but I can't get out of that system. I would love to try a mirrorless system. I'd love to try the Sony, the Lumix. I'd love to try Nikon's new mirrorless system, but I can't because I'm stuck in this system that I can't get out of. It's cost me thousands and I will lose thousands 
by trying to get out of it. Whereas you buy a drone, it's one system. You have the lens on there. You've got the sensor in there. You've got the flight controller. Everything you need is there. Okay, yeah, I get it. You have to buy some accessories like a battery, 100 quid, a case, I don't know, 100 pounds, maybe some blades if you're not that great at flying them. But it's not thousands of pounds. It's not tens of thousands of pounds. And for the quality that's slowly being closed between the drone sensor and the digital SLR sensor, all of a sudden, the pros of owning a drone are very quickly outweighing the pros of owning a digital SLR. So this little thing, I mean, it is so tiny. It folds up into next to nothing and I can take it anywhere I want. I think it's cool. It looks good. It looks like a little creature. I've had it probably since it came out, but now I'm just really starting to love it. In my very humble opinion, if you're tempted to buy a drone, I say just do it. It will change how you see things. Of course you have to fly them sensibly. Of course you can't fly them over airports. Oh look, that was in the news, wasn't it? I mean, who does that? But you can fly in the countryside, you can fly it away from people. You can get some of the best pictures that you'll likely get. It's exciting. There's adrenaline behind getting that photo and sharing it with the world. That's my passion. So I wanna encourage you, if you're on the fence with getting a drone, it doesn't matter which one you get, I'm just telling you the one that I have. Go and get it. Get out there, get photos and start sharing it. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to catch you soon. I hope that's been helpful. If it's made you buy a drone, good on you. I can't wait to see your stuff. Have a good day.